Hi, I'm Brant Gruber, founder of Integrated Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about the non-surgical treatment of knee ligament injuries. So we have four major ligaments of the knee, two, on the, uh, uh, two in the middle, anterior cruciate and posterior cruciate, and two on the outside, and, and, or uh, two um, uh, ligaments on the inside and outside of the knee. One is called the medial collateral ligament, and one is called the lateral collateral ligament. There are some smaller ligaments of the knee, however, those are the four major ligaments that we see injured uh, uh, in our patients. Knee ligament injuries typically are secondary to trauma, so we take care of many athletes around the valley, and, and for example, like in football, uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, ligament injuries, soccer players. It doesn't have to be sports related, however, uh, you just uh, uh, with uh, daily activities, uh, recreational activities, uh, or work, uh, sometimes a, a work injury uh, can cause uh, ligament injuries. The uh, groups that are highest risk of ligament injuries are uh, a athletes or people that participate in you know, athletic activities. Um, those are by far and away the most common uh, knee ligament injury patients that we see in this practice. Uh, when we see knee injuries, initially we will take x-rays and the, the, the role of the x-ray really is to show us, you know, is there a fracture because uh, you really cannot tell that uh, uh, by a clinical examination uh, with 100% certainty. So the, the uh, x-ray is a, a great tool. We have x-ray uh, uh, in the office so we're able to get that information right away. Uh, if we're concerned uh, further, you know, the MRI is the best study to further um, uh, delve into the ligaments of the knee. So the typical non-surgical uh, treatment uh, are, are, are as follows. Uh, we initially like to get the inflammation down, so we'll place the patient on you know, an anti-inflammatory. Um, the majority of knee injuries, we do want to get the motion. Even if it's, say, it does require surgery, we want the patient to be able to get their motion prior to undergoing any surgical intervention. So uh, physical therapy is important to you know, work on knee motion, to get the swelling out of the knee, to get some of the soreness out of the knee, and importantly, to begin to uh, rebuild and recruit the quadriceps muscle, as this is uh, very important uh, for recovery. So typically a physical therapy regimen is important and, and it's anywhere from four to six weeks, two to three times a week, a nice structured course of physical therapy. Oftentimes bracing uh, is important, specifically if somebody's going to go back in to a higher level uh, uh, activity, um, be it you know a, a contact sport or soccer or something uh, that may stress the ligaments after they've healed, you know, a, a, a good brace is oftentimes required to help protect the knee uh, uh, with return to athletics. Uh, so knee ligament injuries uh, typically take anywhere from uh, 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 six weeks to uh, three months uh, to heal, but you know, return to full competitive athletics you know, can, take, uh, uh, can take up to four to six months. You know, the, the success rate for non-surgical treatment of knee ligament injuries is excellent. The two major ligaments that we treat non-surgically are the medial collateral ligament or the knee ligament on the inside of the knee. And the second one is the posterior cruciate ligament, uh, which is in the back of the knee. Uh, these ligaments uh, are classically treated non-surgically. There are some rare surgical indications, of course. Uh, however, the uh, a traditional treatment for both of those injuries uh, is without a surgical approach.